Today we dig dirt, work hard, run the sluice, find good gold, and a whole lot more. Hi, to help tickle our sweet tooth, I brought along the super duper special purple high banker. La, 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 la. Oops. We are here. It looks the same. I was so excited to do some high banking right now, but then I kind of realized that in order to high bank, you got to get material and make a big pile of material before you can run it. So before you run the high banker, Kyle and I are going to move rocks, dig up material, and then we're going to find some gold. And that's a wrap. So now that I got all the big rocks out of the way, it's time to mash it all up and make it easier for us to make our first pile. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Hey look, bedrock. That is a good sign that there could be bedrock nearby. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, anytime you see bedrock and you're working on it, there's a good chance that there will be gold there. This is all pretty shallow, so I imagine Kyle and I might actually move positions. Is positions the right word? We might move spots. You're trying to say there's not a lot of dirt here. Not a lot of material. What I'm trying to... And we're, we're gonna go somewhere else Take too. Take it away, Kyle. <laughs> so what he's trying to say is there's not a lot of material here. It's pretty shallow bedrock. So we'll do our first run here. We'll try to clean this up and then we'll find another spot. That'll be our second run today. So we're doing two runs. Finding gold can be tough. Only the strong will survive. You think you got what it takes to become no- It's so heavy. <laughs> Look who joined us today. There's hey. Bailey. So Bailey runs a channel called Bailey Adventures. He looks for rocks, he looks for gold, and does pretty much everything. And he's always here to help me out. And I actually wanted to get his opinion. You know the purple high banker that Kyle loves so super much? Super purple high banker. The super purple, super duper thing. What do you think Kyle's gonna do if I decide to run it through some poly tests today? Oh, I don't know. What kind of tests are you thinking about? So what Sile's doing right now is he's just following this bedrock right here, putting all the material in one area because if we move this way, we could potentially bury like a nice crevice. So we're just gonna clean this spot, see what's there, put in the buckets, run that, and then we'll continue. So we're actually moving a lot faster than I thought we would, which is good. It means we can do more work in less time. I think that's 13 buckets, so we're already over a quarter yard. What are you working with there? Crevice. It's hard digging. So our pile of dirt is starting to look dirty. It's not as high as it was in the last time Kyle and I high banked here, but we are getting close and we are saving a lot more time now that Bailey's helping us. We found a lot of gold in this area before, but I think Kyle is uncovering some new spots and I just uncovered this area right here. We got a big boulder, we got bedrock, some beautiful looking material and my shoe. So hopefully there'll be enough time in the day to work this area and see if there's good gold. Mm -hmm. The most time consuming part of high banking is piling up the dirt to run, which is challenging when you have ADHD. So I just dumped a bucket that had water and mud in it and I thought I saw a little piece of gold at the bottom of the bucket. So I just rinsed out the bucket just to be sure and put it in a gold pan. I panned it out and this is what we got. Does not compare to New Zealand, but hey, that's okay. I need to get back into Canada mode. Those are nice pieces of candy. Now, if you don't already know, anytime you do find a piece of gold, it's a good sign that there could be gold around. So you might as well just keep looking. All right, so we have just piled up one yard of material, which is 40 buckets. So what we're gonna do is we're either gonna run all this material in one go, or we're gonna do half of it and then run the other half later. It just depends how we feel. So I'm gonna let Kyle set up this high banker here the way he wants to set it up, because he is a pro at it and I'm not. And then we'll start running the material to find some gold. I hope. Tasted like gas. So everything's running nice and fine, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks good. You can see that uh, the spray bar looks a lot better than the last one. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but everything's set up nice and level, and uh, I'd say we're ready to run. So before I'm comfortable running this material, like I said before, I want to run this through some poly tests. You can't get mad. What did you say? We're going to run this through some tests first. Some tests? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
So if I'm gonna put my name on this high banker and potentially sell it, I have to make sure that this high banker can handle what most high bankers can't handle. Well, you haven't actually told me what you wanna do yet, so it's be gentle. What a mess. So I'm gonna make Kyle set it up every single time because he built this, he trusts it. I trust him that he trusts it. It looks good as new. Perfect. Hey, look, Kyle. A cliff. <laughs> do you know what I think we should do with the high banker? I don't like where this is going. <laughs> We're gonna be testing this high banker to see if it can handle being thrown off the cliff. The hose fitting broke. That is not what I expected. Wow, the legs held up. That's cool. <gasps> the mats fell out. No deal. Can I see that for a sec? Yeah. So what person would ever consider getting a high banker if they can't drop it from a 50 foot tree? the ultimate question before getting a high banker. Can you hit your high banker with your vehicle? You can't, you should. Here's the damages. We have a, uh, a bent leg. I'm surprised it didn't break. We got mats, obviously that's not gonna break. And a hopper, seems fine. Now we're talking. That's what I wanna see. We have a broken leg. That's for everything else, it looks okay. Let's replace that with this. Because if you do end up breaking a leg by hitting it with a two by four on your normal prospecting trip, you're gonna need to have to figure out how to replace this leg, right? So obviously nobody expects to be damaging their high banker the way we're kind of doing it. But the whole point of doing this is to show that you want something that's gonna last you. And obviously if you can throw it off a cliff, hit it with a car, hit it with a two by four, drop it from a tree, have a shower with it, it's gonna last and it's, it's probably good for you. Now this is a high banker. Look at all that patina. You got this broken piece, you got all three legs, you got the beautiful gold track decals standing out nicely, and it even has a, br <laughs> a brand new paint job. Hey, dude, what the f happened here? Dude, that, that was already there. Since when? I don't know, the whole time. So before we run, obviously we gotta replace that because we won't get any water without that. So, you know, that's that's normal. I honestly thought this thing would be more destroyed. I honestly did too. It's a mess, I can tell you that. It is a mess. It would just be a shame if it just like, if it broke and then we couldn't run. That would be a shame. I just want to, uh, address that broken piece because that's gonna make it so we can't find any gold now. That's gonna be reinforced with a piece of metal so you won't have to worry about it at all. So then you can throw it off a cliff. Now the real question, will this thing start? Because I know there's some components on the inside where the water goes through. It could actually just be broken. Aha, she's alive! Yeah, now let's run some dirt. I'm gonna do the honors of the first scoop of material. Now, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time today, but in reality, I feel my way of testing something is completely irrelevant. It's literally only been like four minutes, and it feels like we're already almost halfway through all the material. So the hard work is really just digging the material up. It's not really the high banking. I think we just spotted a piece of gold. It's yellow and it's sitting at the very top of the box. And normally when things are heavy, they sit up top like that. Can you see it? No. Can you move it? Here we go. Oh yeah, right there. Ha <laughs> ha! That does look like gold. Nice! Dude, that means there's gold nearby. 
We're almost halfway done this material and then we're doing a cleanup. I prefer to do a cleanup right now because I, I really do want to take that piece of gold out. There's one more test I want to do. I want to light this thing on fire and throw it out of a plane. What? Okay, you do the honors. There is a piece of gold up top that we saw. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a few pieces of gold. Oh, there's definitely a few pieces. Oh, oh look at there. Yeah, there's, that's a big one right there. Nice. Cool. But that's bigger. And those are small. And that's bigger. I wonder if there's any more. Now, anything oh. big would be up top. That is a nice piece. That's nice. It looks like a fish. It looks like a sunfish, I think. It does. That's cool. See, if we only knew exactly where that came from over there. It's so cute! So we're going to need a pan if we're going to get all this material out. That should work. What is that? What's wrong? You got a problem with my pan, boy, huh? Technically nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with pink. I don't think it's enough to hold the material, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're not gonna lose that, because I'm not gonna pan it. There's gold in them, thar riffles. Very helpful, as always, Polly. Yeah, no worries. Kyle likes to do this a certain way, and I like to help him by just saving him time. It's so weird, why is there so much debris hanging off your, your high banger? What a bad design. Your guess is as good as mine. I realized I haven't actually panned since like, September last year. Yeah, I haven't been to this spot since last year when I was high banking here with uh, Kyle. And then we went to New Zealand and found incredible gold. It does feel good to be back in Canada. I mean, because I live here, but I really do like New Zealand. Moment of two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is real rough. That's nice. That is really nice. That's so good. I love that. I don't mind panning as long as there's a lot of gold, but look at that. We got a picker right there. We got a nugget right there. Lots of gold all through that black sand. And we're only halfway done that, that pile. So obviously we are finding gold here, even with a high banker that we tried to, that I tried to destroy. I'm not too surprised that it's behaving well because there's no holes or anything like that. I was actually thinking of like throwing a pickaxe through it, but I mean, I still could. What do you say we continue and find more black sand? Okay, so pro tip, don't put your intake in the sand or in leaves or in pine needles. It makes it very difficult to suck water up. Is that what went in my mouth on the first run? Because I, I put the hose in there earlier. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Because I tasted gas. I don't know what that was, but I'm not sure. <laughs> round number two. Will round number two be even better? Keep watching to find out. Or don't. Just ask somebody who did finish the video or make a time machine, watch the video, go back in time, not watch the video, and place high bets on the results. Kyle apparently saw a piece of gold in the hopper. I think he's full of shit, but we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully this shot is cinematic and adds some cool effect for more subscribers. Step on the hose. I didn't step on the hose. I think I underestimated how much material we ran on the first run. I thought we were almost halfway done, but now we're almost halfway done. So there'll be more material in this run is what I'm trying to say. So we're almost done. We only have maybe about four or five scoops left. And then again, we have a lot more material than, than I thought we did. This run is way cool, way more. Look how much tailings we have. The last bit of material is always really fun because not only does that mean that you're almost done working, but you're that much closer to seeing some more gold. We're almost there. We're trying to get this all done before the, we run out of gas. <laughs> Look at those tailings. That's almost two rocks. We're gonna let it run for a minute. Let it, uh, you know, do its thing. Bailey just turned off the pump. Now uh, we're gonna see if there's more nuggets on there. There should be. I didn't look yet. Is there? I see a little uh, piece of root, but I don't see any gold yet. Is there gold? I don't see any nuggets or anything off the bat. Nothing huge. But we do see a lot of gold in there. We see some right there, all through these top mats. Oh yeah, there, look at that. Yeah, there's gold all through here. Yeah. Huh, I really like this spot here. All right, let's do the, the old Dunkaroo. 
What's your favorite thing about outdoors, Bailey? Nature. The nature. What about you, Kyle? N- nature's cool. Nature. I like nature as well. What? Ooh. <laughs> Look at that black rock in there, right next to the piece of gold. That is awesome. Even though it's not a million ounces, it's still really cool. I love gold. I do like gold. Back to the square pan. I haven't used this pan since the last time we were here. Stupid rope! Are you mad at me that I destroyed your high banker? Almost destroyed your high banker? I wouldn't say I'm angry. Actually, I'm in- impressed with the high banker, if I'm being perfectly honest. Held up way better than I thought it would. I was really nervous before I hit it with my car because I, I thought the airbag would go off. <laughs> I feel less afraid panning in a square pan. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is so good. How inconvenient would that be if like an asteroid landed next to us? I'd be like, oh my God. I'd be super annoyed. Like really, now? Here we go. Oh, stupid rock in the way. <laughs> that is awesome. There's a couple pieces in there. We even have some lead. Look at that. This piece of iron, what is that? I don't know, that looks like lead. Yeah, two pieces of lead and a thousand pieces of candy. Man. That's awesome, man. That looks so good. I really like this spot. I wonder what happens if we like brought an excavator down in here. I'm getting Kyle to do the final cleanup because I'm not used to this pan yet, but wow. That looks so good. You got that big fish and all the little babies. <laughs> that looks amazing, especially in the black sand. But guarantee when we go home and weigh it, it's only gonna be like 0 0.006. With that, it'll be 0 0.007. So here is what about one yard of beautiful bedrocky dirt gets you from this particular spot. And so far, each time I high bank here, the results seem fairly consistent, which tells me in the right crack, there has got to be a pile of gold waiting for us one day, especially when there's nuggets like this around. So even though you're most likely not going to abuse the high banker like I did, you can. And it's still gonna work. You're still gonna find gold, which makes me comfortable enough to say that these high bankers are now available through cruxprospecting.com or click the link down in the description. And by the time you see this video, that little piece that broke will be reinforced so you can safely throw it off a cliff. Do it. What do you reckon, mate? Time to go home and weigh the gold. So when I went home to weigh the gold, my audio was off for some reason. All the gold together weighed 2.87 grams, which is pretty good, which means the fine gold was about a gram and a half. And our beautiful fish nugget weighed 1.17 grams. If you enjoy high banking, I recommend you get this one because not only is it indestructible, but it also helps this channel. It will help us grow and make more videos like this for you to enjoy. Shout out to my patrons who are already supporting the channel. Until the next one, more videos for you to enjoy while you do the dishes or or try to sleep, I don't know.